you know. So, so, you know, I want definitely it to be clear. That's you know, I want to look at the Moorish Constitution, Article Six, mm -hmm. by CMB. He says, uh, uh, knowing of the zodiac masonry as shown in this Moorish Constitution, and also in my books, Clock of Destiny, Volume One and Two will prevent a Moorish American, he or she, from indulging in crime. They then would not have to appear in the courtroom to stand trial. Should a Moorish American who have this constitution and books one and two, clock of destiny, indulge in crime, such as narcotics, robbery, forgery, prostitution, illegal whiskey or alcohol, illegal schemes, gambling, peace breaking, violence, and disrespect for the law of the city, county, state, and federal. They then um, would have been incriminated themselves and therefore will be penalized. This constitution, card, and book definitely do not protect criminals. Beware. A lot of so-called morals are dealing with illegal schemes, crime, robbery, everything that the Constitution says that you should not be doing. They do. A lot of them are doing. A lot of them are doing. But Asiatics in general are doing. But see, here you go. <laughs> A see, see, Asiatics talk 85 percenters, right? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? See, 85 percenters, unconscious Asiatics. Right. Who don't know who they are or the origin of this world? They have an excuse for traveling and in, in, in crime. Right. But when you got knowledge of yourself, what's your excuse? You basically have educated a so-called Negro. Take a criminal person, mm -hmm. and you teach them how to gamble, right? Mm -hmm. And apply this here knowledge. They're gonna become the worst criminal because oh. they have knowledge on both sides. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. You know? It's like knowing law enforcement and crime. Right. right. You can really make your moves. If you're a forensics expert and a murderer, yeah. it's going to be real hard to catch you. Right, right, right. Now, 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 now I want to touch on right quick. Sovereignty means self governorship. Mm hmm. That means self and not dependent on any democratic or any entity. Mm hmm. Will take care of you. It's hard to claim sovereignty and you're renting. It's hard to claim sovereignty and you're working on nine to five. Mm. It's hard to claim sovereignty and you're paying taxes. It's hard to claim sovereignty and you're fighting to be exempt, exempt from the system when at the same time you're saying that you are exempt. So, so it's a contradiction. You're either sovereign, exempt, or you're not. You're using Federal Reserve notes. You're using Federal Reserve notes, fiat currency. Using W two, W four, SSN. You and you that basically makes you under executive order. The Constitution been suspended since nineteen thirty three. No one wants to bear witness. Right. You know, part and partial of this said what government. Right. You know, and I don't care what nation you in. I wouldn't care. It wouldn't matter if you was a Hebrew. Uh, Islamic, any of the Islamic organizations, God body, nation of gods and earths, uh, uh, Moors, whatever the case may be, uh, if you indulge in crime, it is what it is. That's right. And the unconscious look at us for guidance. And if we're not guiding them in the right way, why would they want to get with us? That's right. A lot, a lot, a lot of so-called morals are, are bad examples. Now, hit this out from the Moorish literature, the Moorish guide. It's important. He said, "Purpose of the movement to this desirable end and time legitimate means that means will be bound to dispense charity and provide for the mutual assistance of his members in times of distress to aid in the improvement of health." and to encourage the ownership of better homes, to find employment for our members, to teach those fundamental principles which are desired for our civilization, 
Because as obedience to law, loyalty to government, and tolerance and unity. I'm going to say that again. Obedience to law. If you're claiming sovereignty and you want to be not in the system, then you need to leave this country. Because you have no respect for the law of the land. Loyalty to the government, you have no respect for the government in which you right now reside under. Tolerance and unity. It is most earnestly hoped that the Morris Society Temple of America will not in any way be confused with any back to Africa movement. Such is not important insofar as the American citizens of our group colonizing Africa are concerned. Here you go. We believe in the principles of his teachings insofar as they can be adopted to American life. We feel that the Christian religion is all right for, for those who prefer it. In America, religious freedom is guaranteed to all under the Constitution. We are interested in freeing ourselves and our children from our greatest plight, economic slavery. Now I say that to be clear, that the Moors is about economics. The prophet said, Moors, look your best. He said, Moors, you're, you're worth a million in the hands of the prophet. You're looking your best, more you're millionaires. That's in the hands of the prophet. We should be striving to deal with economics. Then you have sovereignty. It means you can better provide for your family, take care of your children, help your brother and sister, your next door family out. This is a bay and ill community of righteousness. You know? We're still hooked on the law. Every or the majority of so-called people that come to the Moorish community are coming because they have a criminal mind. They don't come with good intentions and pure of heart. They don't come to learn the, about the Prophet Noble Juali. They don't come to learn the culture. They, they, they have even read before or know how the book look circle seven on the Moorish Quran. Mm -mm -mm. You understand? That's like the foundation to Moorish movement. Exactly, Mom. How could you not know the Moorish Quran? They have no idea. And you know the one I ain't talking, Right, I ain't talking about the big Quran of Mecca like no, they say. No, the Al-Quran, no, I'm talking about the Moorish Hatch of America, Moorish mm -hmm. Quran. That was, that was issued in 19 to 28, prepared in 27.